guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and for today's video, we are going to talk about all of the different Sol de Janeiro body creams. Now, they actually have one more body cream, which is brand new. It is scentless. That's the only one I'm not going to be talking about today because I don't actually have that one in my possession, but um, I wanted to talk about these three and just kind of give you guys like a review of all of them in case you were curious and wanted like... Um, just a video comparing and contrasting all three. Now, um, I've started using all of these like a few weeks ago and I am unfortunately allergic to the Coco Cabana Cream, which is actually my favorite scent of all three. Um, I have two of these because one of them um, is a little sample that I got in a subscription box recently and um, it is the new formulation. This bigger one I have is the old formulation. And the reason they formulated it, um, they, they formulated the scent differently because a lot of people were saying that the old one smells more like popcorn, um, buttered popcorn, and it's supposed to smell like coconuts. But personally to me, I think these smell very, very similar. Like I definitely do get more of a coconut smell with the new one, but like if I weren't smelling them both side by side, um, like if I used this entire tube up, went out and bought a new tube with a new formulation, I don't think I would be able to tell the difference because they're that similar. Um, now, like I said, I'm allergic to these. I used the little mini one first, um, and I actually, I vlogged it uh, the day that I used it. Um, I will put up a picture of my allergic reaction. Um, I just broke out in like a big red rash. I have not been able to use the Coco Cabana Cream past that one time use. Um, however, just to make sure, I wanted to make sure that it, um, like I was wondering if I was allergic to the new formulation versus the old formulation so I just did like a little patch test with this old one and I also had like a little like I just took it and did like one little line on my wrist and I also got a rash like right in that one little spot that I put it on so unfortunately I can't give you guys a good review of this one because I am allergic um so I don't know what I'm allergic to I don't know which ingredient it is that I am allergic to in this one but that's what happened when I tried to try it out and use it and I'm really sad about it because this was my favorite scent I personally love that like butter popcorn scent to it it kind of it, it smells the way that buttered popcorn jelly beans taste um, you know like it's it's kind of like that sweet butter popcorn smell not like actual literal butter popcorn you pop in the microwave but it's more like a buttered popcorn jelly bean sort of smell um, and I love that about this, but unfortunately, I cannot use it. I cannot use the old formulation or the new formulation, so I can't give a good review of that one. But I'm just going to give you, show you, like, what it looks like. It, this one just looks like a typical white lotion. Now, um, we're going to talk about the Bum Bum Cream, the Boom Boom Cream. Um, and this is the one that comes in the yellow packaging, and this one I love. It's... I don't really know. I kind of I kind of think this one smells more like coconuts than the Coco Cabana cream does, but maybe that's just me. And this, as you can tell, I haven't used a ton because I use when I do use it, I use like a tiny little bit um, since I do have a small one. And this little small thing is 20 bucks, by the way. Um, and this is the medium size. You, you can also buy a smaller one that's $10 or you can buy the full size. Um, which, I don't, let me double check what the full size is. I think it's 40? No, it's, it looks like 45. So, um, this is the $20 size. And this little two tub, how, what size? 2.5 fluid ounces is 20 bucks. That's a lot for a little cream. But this is amazing. Um, it's whipped, which is so nice. It just, like, rubs into your skin like butter. I actually saw someone, um, say online that if you put it on like your stretch marks or loose skin um it will make it go away so i started putting this on like my stretch marks and loose skin from having a baby um i just had a baby i have a two month old and i didn't think it was really gonna do anything um but it seriously made my loose skin on my belly look tighter after only like two uses um, I was getting dressed one morning and I was like, holy shit, that, that stuff is working. Like, my tummy already looks kind of like, um, like tighter. 
And so I absolutely love this. Um, when I run out of this, I might just splurge and get the $45 tub just since I know that it actually does work at making your skin tighter. Even though the Coco Cabana Cream is my favorite scent as far as how well they work, this one is my favorite. And then we also have the Acai Body Power Cream. And this one, when I, I, I got this one in a FabFitFun um, add-on when I was pregnant and I could not use it when I was pregnant, um, which is kind of, that's a big reason why this review is, I'm doing this review now because I could not use this when I was pregnant because the smell is so strong. I actually, I do like it now. It's still not my favorite of the, of the three. It is my least favorite, but it's not horrible. When I was pregnant, however, it was so strong. It made me feel nauseous. Um, it does kind of have like a bit of a citrusy scent to it, which also is not really my favorite. It, um, looks like this. It has like a pink, a pinkish purple tint to it. And it's not quite whipped, but it is a very thick, um, especially compared to the other two body creams. Um, I would say that this one has like the thickest consistency and this one is really nice. I actually have not used it, try using it on like my stretch marks or anything. I've mostly been using it just as body lotion. Again, I only use a little bit at a time and a little bit goes a long way. And it also has like a bit of a shimmer, not really a shimmer because it's not like there's glitter in it, but I mean, it does kind of have like a little bit of a shimmer to it. So when you do rub it in, it does make your skin just look so hydrated. Um, just like super hydrated and healthy. Like it gives your skin such a beautiful, like a natural glow. It does have a, <laughs> the scent is like pretty strong though. So if you don't like to smell scents on you, which I don't always like that, um, this probably isn't for you. And honestly, I probably wouldn't repurchase this mostly because of the scent. I wish I could have that like shimmery, glowy look without like that super strong citrusy scent. Like I said, I can handle it now that I'm not pregnant anymore, but when I was pregnant, I could not deal. And I almost feel like since the other two are kind of like coconutty smells, I feel like it doesn't really go with the other two scents. Of the three, it kind of like sticks out scent wise. If you like citrusy scents though, you will love this because it does have like a very like citrusy kind of berry scent to it. That's my like overall review of these two creams. And like I said, the Coco Cabana cream, I am unfortunately allergic to, so I can't give you guys a review on it. All I can say about it is that it's my favorite scent. I love that like kind of buttered popcorn scent to it, even though they don't like it and they tried to change it. Um, I still think it smells that way and I absolutely love that buttered popcorn scent. I think it smells so, so good. I just wish I could actually use it and make my body smell that way without having a rash. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you've tried these, let me know what you think down and below um, in the comments below, especially if you tried the Coco, Coco Cabana Cream. I'd love to hear what you think about that one since I unfortunately cannot use it. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.